Gym with Elite Personal Fit. Welcome to our Lunch Crunch class where we're going to really focus on the core, trying to strengthen, tone those support muscles. Uh, today's routine, uh, we have five exercises which equates to seven different moves. Uh, a couple of these are one way than the other. Really will do a nice job of challenging the core. Uh, lots of room planes of motion. We've got, uh, let me run through what we're going to do today real quick. We're going to start with some seated figure eight. So I like the way that really challenges the core from multiple planes of motion. Um, great exercise. Uh, then we're going to do some leg climbs. That's a three phase movement where one leg is up in the air. We're going to reach up towards the ceiling, grab the leg, and then reach opposite hand to toe. And there are a few different ways to do that, but that's the way I'm going to do it today. Um, then we're going to get back in a seated position. We're going to do some seated knee tucks. Upper body will fold slightly forward as the knees come in. Really effective on the core. Uh, we'll lay back and we're going to cross one leg over the other. We're going to crunch straight up and then we're going to do a cross. Don't go too quickly, but we're doing a crunch, cross, two-phase movement. Uh, last exercise, leg lifts. Then we'll repeat that all one more time. All right. So um, all you really need today is, is an exercise mat uh, or a towel, possibly. Very portable workout. You can do this anywhere, anytime. And honestly, just about any fitness level as well. So let's get started. We'll start some figure eight. So we're going to basically... Uh, we have an eight on its side. We do these lying also sometimes. We're going to do a seated, just kind of looks like an infinity sign. All right, we're just going to carve out this eight. And we'll get about 15, okay, total laps. So it's over, around, and back as one. Up, around, back, two. All right, here we go. I'm going to lean back just a little bit. We're here, and I'm just going to come around and up and really tighten the core. One, two. Doesn't sound like much, 15, but it is. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, ah, 15. All right. Whew. Great way to start the core workout, right? So we're going to lay back. We've got our three phase leg climb next. So with this one, one leg is up in the air. All right, pin that lower back down. Hands are up, so I'm going straight up. Grab one, about 15 knees. Two, three, four, five, six, Great job, let's switch those up. If you're staying pace to me, we're switching sides. You don't have to stay pace, but you can. Great job, guys. Whoo! All right. Next exercise, we're going to go uh, seated knee tuck. So we're going we're to spin around and get the seated position again. 15 to 20 of these. All right. So we're going to sit down. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I really feel them. Six. Okay, 
let's lay back. We're gonna do a crunch and then cross, right? 15 to 20 of these also. Hands behind, the listeners, as soon as you wanna pull the head, don't pull the head. Look to quarter all the work. Slow and controlled. 13. 14. Straight up. Great job, again, really feeling that core. Um, guys, last one in this first circuit, leg lifts. Okay? A couple different ways, you can tuck your hands under the hips if you want to, a lot of people do that. It helps their back, or you can put them down at the side. I prefer behind the head, I'm gonna engage the core from the get-go, makes the core work a little harder, also helps me pin my lower back down. So if you like that, do it. If not, you can always revert back to under the hips or the side. So, just gonna roll the shoulders up a little bit and then we're coming up. One. Whew, I feel those. Two. Try to get the hips off the ground if you can. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh man, they are tight and they are sore. And that's just one round. Okay, let's go through again here, guys. So I'm gonna sit up, take a couple breaths, and we're back to our figure eights. Okay. Alright, we're in about 15 eights carved out here.
15. <laughs> wow. I hope you're feeling these wherever you're at, whether you're at home, the office, really feeling the core here. All right, we got leg climbs next. We'll switch sides. Back to seated position, we've got the seated knee tucks. 15 to 20 might be a little more fatigued, so uh, I'll shoot for 20 and see if we get those, uh, but 15 to 20 is a really good range here. down we have the crunch and cross remember don't pull the head on this let the core do all that work and here we go 15 to 20 again that way. Let's switch these legs up. Let's get 20 coming the other way. So we'll match wraps here.
leg lifts, okay? Tough one, try to get those hips off the ground if you can, under control, so don't, don't use momentum from the legs to make them roll. Squeeze them off the floor. Really makes the exercise more effective, okay? Here we go. See, also, you don't have to go super deep on this. Let me sit up here. Hey, that was, I mean, a pretty simple workout, right? We got five exercises, go through two times, 15 minutes or so. Great routine for the core. I like the way the upper abs are tied in with the obliques. We can tie lower abs with the obliques. The, the figure eights just go through a, a great amount of range of motion, different angles and lifts on each side. So I hope you enjoyed that routine and, and really felt the core. Stay safe and healthy out there. This is Elite Fitness, and we are bringing wellness.